Okay, so I am here looking like a skunk. <laughs> um, okay, so I just wanted to officially tell you guys that I am safe. My family is safe. We suffered minimal, minimal damage in our home. And I'm just so grateful that, um, that I was spared. Um, many people were not. And many people are suffering. And today is Thursday. It's almost been a week since Hurricane Harvey hit and um, people are still, I mean, half of the city is still underwater. So um, just wanted to tell you my experience. And um, so I just wanted to tell you in case you don't follow me on Snapchat or Instagram that my family is safe and just give you some thoughts about my enlightenment. Okay, so I have, uh, I'm 40, 41 years old and I have lived here in Houston, Texas mostly all my life. I did go away when I went to the military, but I've always come back to Texas. And I've been through quite a numerous amount of storms and hurricanes and tropical storms. And since I've been with my husband, we've been through three major hurricanes um, and a tropical storm and uh, flooding just from rain but um we've never seen it the way it got for hurricane harvey and um it was crazy and i just i started thinking what what would i save in my home because i do have a two-story house and most people the flooding when it did occur either you know it occurred halfway where the bottom floor was you know pretty much anything on the floor was ruined or it went all the way to the roof and um, of most people's one-story homes and so I was thinking what would I save you know what would I try to put up and really honestly there were only a few things that I would try to you know save and, and run upstairs and the main thing was just just my family you know I just wanted my family to be safe and um, my family is spread out throughout Houston and um, I kept calling and checking on everyone and everyone thankfully was spared this was just an amazing act of mother nature i mean um the rain just sat over the southern part around houston victoria um now it's beating up beaumont port arthur and um moving over to louisiana and this damn hurricane was just ridiculous and i've never seen such a thing in my 41 years of life and um just the generosity of human beings and just seeing how people you don't even know these people and you stress out for them and you feel for them and you just want to reach out and hug them and take them into your home and just with all the negativity going on in the world and people have different beliefs but Sandra Bullock said it best. She says, there's not politics and eight feet of water. There's human beings. And that's basically what it was. It was just, you didn't care what creed, religion, race, ethnicity, sex, gender, whatever these people were. You just wanted to see everyone make it out alive. And that was um, a very enlightening experience. And Honestly, I've been very put off by social media lately. I just feel like a lot of people have been so negative. Social media has just gotten just so fucking ridiculous. It's unbelievable. I can't deal with, I can't deal with the hate and the negativity anymore. Um, it's just gotten completely out of hand. And seeing people come together for this disaster was unbelievable. And, um... You know, it just kind of reaffirms that we're all we're all in this together. We're all here on this earth, on this planet, on this, you know, United States and this state of Texas and this city. And we were all in it together. And um, I cried for my city. We've just been pretty much confined to our homes. You know, um, even if your home didn't get flooded, the streets were flooded and you couldn't get out. My daughters and I ventured out today. We were able to get something to eat at a fast food restaurant, but we went to the Walmart. Walmart was closing and we had 10 minutes to run in there and try to grab something. So hair dye was the last thing on my list. Um, I didn't even bother to try to get any hair dye. You know, I, I need to get some hair dye, but you know, I was running in there trying to look for bread. We haven't had fresh bread and, um, 
I was trying to find us some bread. It's just crazy. Um, we still can't find bread to this day. And then now there's a gas scare where we might not have gas for a while. So even if you can make it to work, you might not be able to make it to work because you don't have gas to put in your car. So it's just, it's just been so ridiculously crazy. There was um, quite a few things tornado um scares one tornado hit like two miles three miles from my sister's home and i mean i just <sighs> this was just unbelievably crazy my husband and i did get out yesterday and take a lot of donations we had a lot of baby wipes and stuff left over for my my little one and and just stuff you know cleaning supplies and then we had clothes but a lot of people turned down the clothes because they just were overwhelmed with clothes and so we just try to get out stuff that you know were, were necessary and needs and also a lot of my coworkers have lost 100% of their you know belongings and stuff like that my husband and I are making monetary donations so that we can donate to coworkers that have pretty much lost everything so um, I have been asking on Instagram that if you you know want to know of a reputable place to donate your stuff there is the JJ Watt fund and then um, I, from what I've been hearing that there's like a diaper, uh, some kind of diaper donation fund where you make, you know, because apparently diapers are not a high priority and that's what we were learning that like, and I, I can, I can sympathize with that because I was stuck in an airport for 24 hours and we ran out of diapers in the airport and, and then we finally just decided to rent a van so we could go to the grocery store and, um, you know, get diapers and stuff that we needed for the baby because, you know, that's, you don't, you know, when you're running out of your home and when you're being rescued by boat, you know, you're grabbing for things, but you, you know, grabbing, uh, a week's supply of diapers may not be on the top of your list. You're probably just trying to grab your kids, grab your dogs and pets or whatever, and grab your baby. And, and you, you're, you're just really not thinking and um, you don't have room for all that. So those kind of those kind of funds um, are highly appreciated by these poor people. And um, so if you're looking for something, you know, a place to donate or what would be a worthy cause, you know, um, some kind of animal rescue, that would be a really worthy cause because so many of these poor pets. Oh my God, the news media has just been showing so many of these poor animals that were left behind or, or drowned, you know, during rescue or... You know, it's just awful. It's just awful. So, I'm good. I'm safe. My family is good, um, thankfully. But there's so many people out there that are just, I mean, we have a shelter. We have, like, so many shelters that have been opened up because people have been displaced. And they have no, they no, they no longer have home. A home. And it's just... It's crazy. So, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for, um... If you were sending prayers, thank you for, you know, if you were thinking of Houston or Corpus Christi or, or Rockport or, you know, whatever. But politics and, and stuff like that is just, it's just not the time and place. It's just not the time and place. Just leave all that shit behind because we're all human beings and, you know, are you going to stop and not rescue someone because they're a different color or different gender or they're just different? No, because that's a human being and you would never want to see anybody suffer, so. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.